Well, you wouldn't believe it, but I'm a bit lost. I'm trying to get down to a place south of Dunedin called Milton. But being a North Islander, I really don't know my way around, so I've got myself a good map. It's amazing how many people don't use a map to navigate. Mostly guys, I might add. Kind of like Christians who try to get through life without ever reading their Bible. And not surprisingly, many of them will get lost along the way. Well, in New Zealand, even though most Christians own a Bible, not many actually read it. In fact, less than a quarter will pick it up during the week. They get distracted, they're too busy, and they find it difficult to understand. That means that the, the book that we um, claim is so central to our faith and understanding our faith is actually not having an impact on the Christian community of New Zealand. When people read God's Word, it transforms them. If you're wondering why I'm travelling all the way down to a little South Island town called Milton, well I'm checking out something called the E100 Bible Reading Challenge. Now this is a tool that some churches around the country have been using to get people back into their Bibles. I'm off to see if it's working. Well, we've made it as far as Christchurch to the Hornby Presbyterian Community Church. And there's a group of people here who've been trialing the E100 Challenge, so let's go meet them. So what is the E100 Challenge? It's just this little booklet and uh, has a hundred essential parts of the Bible that you just work your way through and you punch out the little holes as you go. E100 is a personal Bible reading challenge through the Bible. It's 50 readings in the Old Testament and 50 readings in the New Testament. So often we read parts of the Bible but don't think about how it relates to other parts of the Bible. Mm. So it tries to tie together the whole story um, of God working in history from Genesis to Revelation. Several times in the past when I've started to work my way through the Bible and given up because you get to those, to put it bluntly, the boring bits. So it puts everything into context, which is wonderful. State Highway 71, that's what we want. E100 is for everybody, from um, young people right through to uh, people who have been in the church and on the Christian journey for a long time. It's uh, great for Christians who are finding it really difficult to get into the Bible, and it's also good for uh, people who are new to the Bible. Mm. I've only been a Christian for like nine months or something, and this is the first time I've really read the Bible, so yeah, it's made quite a bit of difference. It was like having my own little wee pastor sitting at home. The other night, um, Mitch actually texted me, he was reading, uh, what was that, Pro Proverbs? Proverbs. Yeah, and he's like, oh, read this one and this one, like, I think it might help you out at this time. And I like read it and it actually did, it spoke out to me. Uh, brilliant, there's lots of things where God talks to you personally. It's like going through, a, going on a journey with God, and I understand a lot more. One of the best aspects of E100 is the uh, reading of scripture in community. We don't want to talk about opening the Bible just for the sake of information, do we? If you're uh, receiving it together in a group and then God's causing you to take action together, that's a wonderful thing. So this is Christian Life Centre in Aamuru. Some of the members have been checking out the E100 Challenge. Oh, you must be Mike. The thing I love about the E100 as a pastor is it caters for all sorts of ways of people learning. It's short, but it has so much um, input and application to life. The challenge is actually putting that five or ten minutes aside to do it and it's not a big time. Is it worth it though? Yes. It just transforms you, you know. Yeah. Reading the Bible transforms us as people from the inside out. I can just imagine um, Christians who are infectious about their faith who infect other people about the faith yeah. Mm, yeah. and where that might lead. Well, we've finally made it to Milton, the last stop. Nice to meet you, welcome. You do part E100 together as a family and as a church. They really just now have a good habit. It helped me get into a habit of reading the Bible each morning. So it's just so encouraging to see my children just enjoying the Bible. And what was your favourite part? The story of Ruth and Esther. Why do you like them? <laughs> Because uh, they're girls. Because children are naturally competitive, it's a great thing to do as a family because you have the wee punch out cards and they love chicken we were out to. You can see your progress through it. Next year, as a family, we'll do the E100 again. Well, I'm convinced this E100 Bible reading plan is helping Kiwis around the country discover their Bibles in a whole new way and get really excited about it. Maybe it's just the nudge you need to get you into a Bible reading habit that you will never want to kick. The question I have for you is, are you up for the challenge? <laughs>